Thank you guys for coming. The first seminar that we're doing is talking about um, things at your checkout. What is really important for your store? So what what we're finding in this year is it is a new year. 2024 is going to be a different economy year than we've seen before. You know, we came off 2021, 2022 were great years for a lot of people. 2023 was kind of that reset year, right? So what is 2024 going to look like in retail? Well, the number one thing is what are you doing to satisfy your customers? I always think when you have someone walk into your store, um, I worked for Casual Corner and I began my career and they said, everyone who walks in your store has a purpose. Even if they don't know it, they are there to buy something. So they're there to spend money. So oftentimes what we do is we greet them right away. Hi, how are you? And if we know them, we might have a little conversation. But if we don't, we may, they may say, I'm just, oh, I'm just looking and leave them alone. So if they end up in your checkout line, how do you complete that sale? But how do you take that sale to the next degree? Sometimes they're looking for just that little gift for somebody. Maybe they're coming in for a gift card. Maybe they're there for five minutes. So you have to make sure you train your employees of what to do at that point to build the sale because ultimately as a small business owner if we don't build those sales we don't sell things and so many times it's an incentive to do something for your employee so have contests they don't have to be monetary contests but you would be amazed if you say to your staff hey who can sell the most of this item today or if you sell the most of this item, I will do this for you. Maybe there's a favorite shirt they've been looking at or something, maybe that's the incentive. Maybe you only give 20% off for your normal customer discount. Maybe this time you do 50 off one item, whoever sells the most of that item that day. So that's to finish your sale. So here's what happens. Oftentimes, and I'm just gonna use our mini flame as always our number one item, but a lot of people don't sell these like they should. I have customers, and I am not kidding you, that sell thousands in towns of 8,000 or less. Why do they do it? Because one, they send that piece home with their employees and say, take this home and play with it. Your investment on this, if you buy it in a bundle, is $11. You're putting $11 into your, your staff's pocket to take it home. If they fall in love with it, they're gonna show it to everyone. But then if someone comes up with a container and maybe they have a container full of flowers, maybe they're doing a base for their desk, say to them, do you realize what you could do with this piece? And change over that sale. So say, have you seen our mini flames? And have one of those going always at your checkout. And they say, oh yeah, I had that, I tried it. Well, did you know you never have to replace the batteries? Little twinges like that can sell more at your checkout. But here's the other thing is make sure your employees know why you bought products at market that you bought. So maybe you bought this as a piece for a candle. Maybe this is how you are you were gonna sell it. Turn it over though and use this as a candle holder. Use this as a riser in your store. Show people how you can do it differently. Maybe it's something as simple as you have a candle ring and you set a bird on top of it. Makes a whole different item. Use those pieces at your checkout. If you sell floral, always have a cheap floral at your checkout. This is our number one item in the whole showroom as far as florals. $2.50 is your cost. You can easily mark this. You know, average markup, they would say mark it at $4.99, right? To be that $5 price point. Easily, $8.99, this, this can go. You're making three extra dollars on this. So maybe you don't mark the, the lights up as much. Maybe you just simply double your lights or sometimes even go a little less and say, did you know that this piece now, you can turn into a lighted vessel, you can flip it over, you're adding things onto yourself, but make it short. Have one thing in mind that you train your staff, this is, what, this is the item of the day. Maybe it's something as simple as a little item. You know, close to our checkouts, whether it's lip balm or lotions or whatever, have the customers, if it's sitting there, try it. Or maybe they've just come for that quick gift card. Maybe all they want is a gift card. So how do you package that? Well, maybe something little in like a little ring box or do a little container and run this as a promo for Valentine's Day. Everyone who buys a gift card gets this little container. You've spent virtually nothing on the container, 
but you can slip that gift card right in and it makes a great little gift and just put a clear plastic bag around it. So again, it's multiplying that sale at your checkout. Um, oftentimes people say, oh, birds, I hate birds. We have birds all over the store, but they do sell, right? Everyone who has birds, they sell, people love birds. Instead of just showing one, group them in threes and say, did you see its little friends? You can't take it home without its friends. That simple phrase will multiply your sale at your checkout. The other thing I wanted to mention is sometimes people get hung up on, I bought this for only maybe the light. How else can I show it? Taper candles are our, number one is our magic flame, number two is our flameless candles. These sell like crazy, they're on a timer, they have a remote, they've got everything. But what's cool is this little candle ring, again, in addition to the sale to have at your checkout. Maybe they're already purchasing these, maybe they're purchasing this. But this little piece, I believe the cost on this is what, a dollar and a quarter? Two bucks, two bucks. So a $4.99 piece is what you're gonna mark this. But look what you can do in a big vessel just to completely change this, just set this in the bottom. And now you've made a whole different candle piece. It's even better in the tall ones, which a lot of people are like, what do I do with a tall piece? Just that simplicity for people is great. You think a small item in a big vessel, don't be afraid of that. Simplistic is where it's at for 2024. Keep your sales easy and simplistic and keep them wanting more from your store. One of the yeah. biggest questions I get is what if I've got a line at the checkout and I'm, they've got clothing and how do I sell a, a gift if they've only come for clothing? You know, come up and look at the color of what they're buying because that's the colors that they're into and say, did you see the display with all the blues in back? Maybe they have a beautiful blue sweater. Did you see the scarf that goes with the sweater? That's an add-on. Did you see those new earrings? Most of the time, customers will turn around and take a look at it if you train them to take them there. The other thing at your checkout is make sure you have people taking gifts out of their hands. There's nothing worse than when you're shopping and you, you're juggling a sweater and a bunny and you're afraid you're gonna break it. People will always buy more when you go say, let me take that up to the register for you. Oftentimes they get their hands full and they're done, right? They don't even remember what they bought. And once it's behind the register, it's a sold deal. So at your checkout, make sure that it's clean, but you have fresh product at all the time. Oftentimes we get really stuck in that rut of, I can only have candy at the checkout. I can only have this or that. That's where to show your new product. It is the number one place where people already are spending money. And the other thing I'll say is make it easy for them. The best thing you can do, whether they bought an item that's maybe two bucks or they bought an item that's $200, think everyone the same, no matter what you do, it doesn't matter because that $2 customer tomorrow could be the $2,000 customer that you're looking for. Create joy as they walk in the door, like I said, greet them as if they're gonna be a $2,000 customer and let them go with that $2 purchase as if they're that $2,000 customer. And I promise you, that little bit, if you can get all your staff into it, that is what is going to change your sales at the checkout. So we have tons of product with Wills. Um, thank you for coming. We have lots of exciting things all throughout the showroom and let us know if we can help. Thank you.